So even though it seems like everybody is jumping from the Sony FX6 to the Red Komodo X here on YouTube, everybody but me and Mark Bone, as far as I can tell, Sony just released a new version 4.0 update for the Sony FX6 that adds a lot of cool features. And I'm gonna show you guys how to update this two-year-old still amazing cinema camera. So the first thing you wanna do to make sure your camera's ready for the update, Sony recommends making sure you have nothing plugged into the camera, no HDMI, no SDI, nothing but the LCD monitor that came with the camera. So the first thing you'll do is take your SD card or CFast card and put it in slot B, specifically slot B. Go through your menu, format the card, take the SD card over to your computer and you'll go to Sony's website to download the firmware. I will link it in the description below to make this easier. After you download the file, plug the SD card into the computer and drag that file right into the root folder of your card. Sony also says, make sure your camera's not running off of battery and to make sure that it's not running off of any other AC adapter to plug it directly into the wall. I don't know if this update will work if you try to do it otherwise, I just followed the directions as it says, but it does say if it's not plugged in through the DC power, that this update will be grayed out in the menu. Put the SD card into the B slot on the FX6. And it has to be, again, the B slot or this will not read right. Scroll down to the maintenance tab, click over to version. I guess you could do this earlier to make sure you have the most updated version. Click on that and then go down to version up. After you click version up, the update will start. And this can take a minute or two. Actually, Sony says it can take up to eight minutes. And I think mine took close to 10. And they say, if your screen stays black for up to 15 minutes, be patient with this. It can take a minute to reset your camera after 15 minutes or so. So don't turn it off in the middle of this update. I don't know what can happen, but I'm sure it's probably a risk to breaking your camera. And after that, you're finished. You're updated to version 4.0. And with this update, you get some cool features. And I just love that this is free and that Sony's still backing these cameras even after two years because two years does not make it an old camera. And I love that Sony's still supporting it. So this adds the anamorphic D-squeeze built right into the camera. You no longer have to use an external monitor like the Atomos for that. And also the file structure format has changed, which I'm actually excited for. I will link below all the updates to this firmware update if you're curious of what you're gonna get with this version. Well, that's all I got. That was a quick one. I just wanna show you guys how to update the Sony FX6. Hopefully that helped you guys if you were trying to figure out how to do it. And I will see you guys in the next one.